A new right-wing government is taking shape in Israel as final election results confirm Benjamin Netanyahu will be returning to power. The current prime minister, Yair Lapid, conceded defeat a few hours ago, calling to congratulate Netanyahu. The former prime minister will serve an unprecedented sixth term. A far-right alliance helped Netanyahu's coalition win a majority of seats in parliament. Now those extremist allies are pushing for key government roles. One of those allies, Itmar ben Gvir, wants to be put in charge of police. He supports relaxing open-fire rules against Palestinian rioters and wants security forces to be immune from criminal prosecution. As Hadass Gold reports, ben Gvir has a long history of inciting anti-Palestinian hatred. Until recently, this man, Itamar ben Gvir, was considered a fringe, far-right activist settler lawyer. His signature white kippa, almost always askew on his head. Now a leader of the projected third largest bloc in the Israeli parliament. Said to be a key component of Benjamin Netanyahu's now likely comeback as prime minister. The 46-year-old has been a provocateur since his youth. Once a supporter of the Jewish nationalist Kach Party, deemed a foreign terrorist organization by the United States and ultimately outlawed by Israel. He was once filmed holding a hood emblem he claimed was from the car of former Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, an architect of the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, vowing, we got to his car and we'll get to him too. A Jewish extremist assassinated Rabin three weeks later. Exempted from the military draft, he says he was denied for his political views. Ben Gvir became a lawyer, often representing Jewish extremist settlers, and famously hung a portrait in his home of Baruch Goldstein, an Israeli doctor who massacred 29 Palestinians in a mosque in the West Bank in 1994 before being killed himself. Ben Gvir later tweeted he would take the portrait down. In 2007, he told CNN the holiest, most contested site in Jerusalem, third holiest site in Islam, is for the Jews only. Temple Mount is uh, for uh, Am Israel, for the Jewish uh, people, and uh, not uh, for the Islamic uh, people. They have Mecca, Medina, we have the Temple Mount. That same year, he was convicted for inciting anti-Arab racism and supporting terrorism. In 2020, his sights turned to politics, winning a seat in the Knesset in 2021 on a platform that included annexing the West Bank, relaxing the Israeli military open fire policy against Palestinian rioters, and pushed for the death penalty for terrorists. He has spent his time in parliament attracting the spotlight, from stunts like pulling a gun during clashes between Israelis and Palestinians in East Jerusalem, telling police to shoot Arabs who throw stones, to being forcibly removed from the floor of the Israeli parliament for calling a fellow member, the leader of the Arab Movement Party, who's also an Israeli citizen, a terrorist, saying he didn't belong in Israel. Just last year, Netanyahu himself dismissed the idea of Ben Gvir leading a government ministry, saying, Minister? No, not in my government. But this year, his tune changed. Asked again if Ben Gvir would be a minister. He answered, Of course he can be. Now vying to be put in charge of the police, as a minister Ben Gvir, that could affect Israel's relationship with its most important ally, the United States. And we hope that all uh, Israeli government officials will continue to share the values of an open, uh, democratic society, including tolerance and respect uh, for all in civil society, particularly for uh, minority groups. The extremist, once shunned from Israeli politics, now a top figure, appearing on cooking shows, and possibly soon, the Israeli cabinet. Hadass Gold, CNN, Jerusalem.